All right, Kirk, thank you. President Biden will ask Congress for more aid to Israel and Ukraine today. Meantime, Israel is launching more airstrikes this morning in the Gaza Strip. KTLA's Eric Spillman in the newsroom with the latest. Eric. Morning, Megan. Morning, Chris. Last night in a speech from the Oval Office, President Biden made a pitch for $100 billion in new military aid to Israel and Ukraine. He says the conflicts in both of those countries are vital to America's national interest. American leadership is what holds the world together. American alliances will keep us, America, safe. Biden says he will ask Congress for the new package of military assistance today. As part of his plan, he's requesting $14 billion for Israel's war against Hamas. You know, history has taught us that when terrorists don't pay a price for their terror, when dictators don't pay a price for their aggression, they cause more chaos and death and more destruction. They keep going, and the cost and the threats to America and the world keep rising. Israeli warplanes keep hitting Hamas targets in Gaza. Israeli soldiers could invade at any time. The airstrikes are in response to the Hamas attack inside Israel on October 7th. Hamas terrorists murdered 1,400 Israelis and kidnapped 200 more. In Gaza, the situation is getting worse. At one hospital there, doctors perform surgery using the light from their cell phones. It's all they can do. Israel has cut off electricity to Gaza. One million people there have left their homes after Israel told them to evacuate the northern part of the territory. Many are now living in tents in southern Gaza. And there are shortages of fuel. People wait as long as six hours in long lines to fill up small containers if they can find any diesel at all. The U.S., Israel and Egypt worked out a deal to let 20 trucks carrying emergency supplies into Gaza. They were supposed to come through the border with Egypt, but the trucks are still waiting to cross. Israel and Egypt cannot agree on how to screen them for weapons. This morning, the U.N. Secretary General, speaking near the Egypt-Gaza border, said that convoy of trucks is the difference between life and death for many people. What we need is to make them move to make them move to the other side of this wall, to make them move as quickly as possible and as many as possible. In Israel, the whole country is mourning the loss of all the people who were slaughtered by Hamas terrorists. In Tel Aviv, volunteers have set up a tribute made of flowers. It spells out, we stand with Israel. Everyone is worried about what has happened to the 200 Israeli hostages Hamas is holding in Gaza. We feel that they are part of our body, our family. We are all united here to bring them home. Uh, we are terrified with the thoughts and uh, please help us with any means that you can. Israel's military leaders are saying this morning they believe the majority of the hostages are alive. They say 20 of those captives are under the age of 18 and as many as 20 more are over the age of 60. Megan?